uh, at Electronica 2014, we're showing uh, the new inner switch product. It's a uh, new switcher IC. It's a new concept in how to build a switcher IC. It has an embedded uh, a magnetic couple instead of using an optocoupler or the traditional primary side feedback approach. It has a lot of benefits. It's smaller, it's more efficient, has better no load, faster transient response. Um, it's a, uh, the next step forward in uh, power supply design. There's a very standard way to uh, describe a, a power supply design. Let's assume that you have a, um, a bridge. So that's a diode bridge coming in from the AC mains. That's usually followed by a high voltage electrolytic capacitor, which is a bulk capacitor that stores the, uh, the energy coming in from the AC. At that point, you see a transformer that's switched at high frequency by a MOSFET, or uh, sometimes a bipolar, but generally a MOSFET. This transformer is a safety rated element and it couples at the uh, energy into the secondary side which re-rectifies and uh, the uh, energy and converts it down to low voltage. So this might be a 5 volt 1 amp output would be typical for a, uh, a charger for a cell phone and this of course is your AC so that could be 90 volts all the way up to 265 volts is, is a, a typical universal input range. Our company's specialty is the design of the controlling function for the MOSFET, and we have a process that allows us to include both the controller and the MOSFET on a single piece of silicon. And we've been building these for a long time. The original product was called Top Switch. And Top Switch was a revolutionary product in the industry and changed the face of power supplies for the last uh, 20 years. The control mechanism for this senses the output and then uses an optocoupler, the resistor I actually using in there, uses an optocoupler to send the sensed information from the secondary side across to the controller which receives it And that's how safe information transfer is sent from the secondary side to the primary, the same as the energy has been sent from the primary to the secondary across this safety rated transformer. The downside of this technique is that you have to bias the opto and you have to manage the other components around the opto and that tends to uh, take uh, current even when the power supply is not switching. So there's another way to do it. The second way to do it, this is called uh, secondary, side, secondary side regulation. There's a technique that came into vogue about uh, eight years ago, nine years ago, called primary side regulation. And in a primary side regulator, you make a more complicated transformer and you put an extra winding on the transformer that is coupled into the control element. So here you have the, the same uh, isolated secondary side and you have the primary side, but you have an extra winding that is coupled by the transformer. And what that allows you to do is sense when current is flowing in this circuit and modulate the output. The problem with this, this uh, setup is you only get to know what's going on the output when you send a ping, rather like a sonar on a, on a ship you send a ping in order to see what's going on. The problem with sending a ping is you also send a packet of energy and at light load, what tends to happen is the output can walk its way up with these packets of energy until you get into an over voltage condition. So you have to burn the excess energy in an output resistor and of course that takes no load energy. So you're burning energy continuously for no purpose. The new inner switch product takes the best side of primary side control and the best of secondary side control and merges them together. So here's the, the, the same input circuit that we had before. Here's the same simple transformer mechanism that we had before. But now what we do is we build a, a double controller with a magnetic couple 
that's built using just the lead frame and bonding wires within the, uh, within the silicon chip. So we have two circuits and this MOSFET all inside a single device. This is the isolation barrier. This is safety isolated. What range, roughly? Safety isolated to six kilovolts. And the secondary side remains simple with the addition of a synchronous rectification MOSFET that is controlled by this device. So all of the intelligence for the power supply moves on to the secondary side. This permits accurate control of the synchronous rectifier, which is critical for high efficiency operation. But we don't need to do, um, uh, we don't need to burn continuous current. At light load, nothing's going on here, so you don't burn any energy. This gives you the benefit of primary side control, but at the same time you've got the, the, uh, the cost benefits of secondary side control, and you have efficiency benefits of synchronous rectification, all built into a single device. And this is an example. This is the inner switch product. This is the inner switch chip here. Um, bridging, you'll see it's bridging this keep out zone in the isolation area between the, uh, this is the primary side, this is the secondary side, and our chip bridges the isolation barrier between them. Interesting, the, here's this, the uh, transformer, that's also bridging the isolation barrier, and there's our chip right underneath the transformer. So it takes up no effective space inside the uh, power supply because this space is usually has to be left empty for safety reasons. So the safety rated product, we have a TUV safety and we have UL approval, meets the China 5,000 meter um, uh, standard. So the technology that we've built into the product is called FluxLink. And the FluxLink couple um, is built into the new device and the new device's name is in a switch. And we're, uh, we've launched the inner switch for the very first time at Electronica uh, today, in fact, the press release uh, was issued, and uh, we believe it's a, uh, a revolution in power supply design, very similar to the uh, original top switch. So in these uh, uh, various power supply topologies, uh, you, the, there are typical levels, and the typical levels are, tip, are um, dictated by government regulations to a large extent. Um, Efficiency is uh, related very strongly to the cost of a power supply because you generally have to add more silicon in order to make a power supply more efficient. You have to use bigger MOSFETs. So most people tend to try and aim towards hitting the efficiency exactly. And the efficiency curve from the Department of Energy, if this is the log of, log of power and this is efficiency, tends to be uh, a more or less straight line log power against efficiency. And a 10 watt power supply for something like a smartphone is generally required to have around about 82% uh, percent efficiency at the end of the cable. The new inner switch power supply that we've built has, has achieved 89% efficiency in the same application. And the reason it can do that is the, uh, the addition of synchronous rectification and also uh, the, uh, the high efficiency use of the MOSFET and the ability of the secondary side control to manage both the primary and secondary MOSFETs uh, to, the, to the best effect.